okay so in this video uh, today we will discuss about input and output decorator in angular okay so here uh, we will see like how we can pass data from parent component to child component and how we can pass the data from child component to parent component how we can establish the communication between two component with the help of input and output decorator in angular so as you can see in this image if we have to pass data from parent component to child component then we will use input decorator if we have to pass the data from child component to parent component then we will use output decorator so this is how we will use this is the scenario that we need to identify when to go for input decorator and when to go for output decorator along with that let's check what is input and output decorator so input is a decorator to mark a property as an input input is used to define an input property means we will define a simply a variable and then there we will use at the rate input from angular core so this way we will be able to define input property to achieve component property binding input decorator is used to pass data from parent to child component as you can see we if we have to pass the data from parent to child component in that case we will go for the input decorator the component property should be annotated with at the rate input decorator to act as input property along with that we have another decorator called output decorator so output decorator is used to pass the data from child to parent component again this you can see like if we have the requirement to pass the data from child component to parent component then we will use the output decorator output decorator binds a property of a component to send data from one component to the calling component output binds a property of type of angular event emitter this basically we will see practically how and what exactly does it mean to transfer the data from child to parent component we use output decorator so this is the scenario we have to keep in mind when we should use input decorator and when we should use output decorator if we have to pass data from parent component to child component in that case we need to go with input decorator if we have to pass the data from child component to parent component then we should go for output decorator again input and output both decorator will be used in child component only if we have to use the input decorator we will create inside the child component if we have to create output again we will create it inside child component only this we will see practically along with that we will see how to use input output practically and how we can change the name of the variable which we will be passing from one component to another from parent to child or from ch child to parent so let's flip to visual studio code and there we will observe the same practically so here already i have written the code we have one data variable parent data inside the this app component we will make it as a parent component and this is the data this is the message that we want to send to the child component so we will create one more component here in order to create the component we will use the command ng g stand for generate c stand for component and maybe we can say child component so this way one component will be created and here you can see child component got created inside that now we will use this component on parent component so here this is the selector all we need to do is this is the selector we will use on the parent component so this basically section i wrote for child component only this is nothing but div with border and some width so we will use the child component here so how how will you identify which one is parent component and which one is child component so the file on which we are writing is called parent component like currently we are on ape.component.html means we are on this component so here these all dot html dot ts these are and then 
dot css so all of them are the part of this component like you can say app root component okay so here this becomes the parent automatically the file on which writing the code is called parent and the tag that you are you know using on this file will be treated as child component so this selector ape child that we are using basically this selector will be treated as child because this selector we are using on app component okay so here app component become parent and app child became the child component that's it now we have data present here that this message we want to send to the child component so we have requirement obviously that the data needs to pass from parent component to child component if you see in this diagram if we have the requirement to pass the data from parent component to child component then we will go for input decorator okay so simply all we need to do is on the child component as i mentioned whether it is input decorator or output decorator both you know we will never go and create this decorator on the parent component we should create these decorators always on child component uh, child component so currently we have requirement of creating the input decorator okay so again that we are defining on the child component and then we can define a variable name maybe we can say get data of any type okay we will not initialize so we will be receiving the data inside this variable so now this is the first step that we have to do once we are done means now as soon as we are writing at the rate input decorator means this data will be receiving the data from parent component okay all we need to do now is to just copy the name of this variable and in the parent tag where we are using the child selector in the square bracket use the same and then equal to pass the data which which value we want to pass so in parent if you see the value that we want to pass is present inside parent data so this variable simply we will copy and we will pass from here so this way whatever the value that we will have in the parent data that value will be sent to get data variable present inside this child component okay and here in the child component that value will be received and the, whatever the value that was passing from the parent component we will receive this value here and then we can use anywhere so here in the html itself we will use that so in h2 tag we will say this is uh, nothing but this is our child component we can write this is child component and whatever the value that we have received we will write here like get data so this variable you can see we have never initialized the value of this uh, value inside the child because this value will be this variable will be receiving the data from parent component so if we run simply you can see uh, here we have the child component and in child component we are getting welcome to parent component so let's check uh, the other things in our app component so here we have this and here also we can write h2 which will tell a parent component okay so simply we will write parent component okay so we have to one on the top is parent component and this one is the child component uh in here we made it upper case we need to make it in lower case and now you see so this message basically if you see welcome to parent component is present inside the parent component okay this app dot component dot ts is our parent component and inside this this mass is present but here we are able to send this data with this syntax here we are passing and whatever the data that we are passing will be received inside the get data property or variable present inside the child component which is nothing but here and then same data we are printing on the child component okay so that's why you can see child component masses from this child component html and just below that we are getting the masses that we have received from parent component which you can see here okay so this is how basically we can make use of 
child component when we have to pass data from parent to child means if we have to pass the data from parent component to child component simply with the help of input decorator we can use how we can use that you have already seen here all you need to do is you just define one input decorator and in the parent component you just need to use this syntax in order to receive data from parent component and you are done now if you have to change the value so you see basically get data here acting as an identifier so we can change this name of variable from here we want to receive in another variable not in get data so we can say get data from parent this is the name that we did now if we run here here my code is already running so we are getting error because from parent it is trying to send the data inside this get data but from child we don't have any get data so in that case if we want to use another variable then identifier we have to use inside the input you know parenthesis and so here we can write get data so what will happen it will try to find out the gate data which it will match here and then corresponding to this mapping will be done with this variable so whatever the data that is getting passed from par the parent data that will be stored inside this variable and then now since that data is coming inside this variable so this we can copy and we can paste here then we will ex still be getting the same variable you can see same values we are getting so if we want to use the different name of the variable then we can follow this approach so this way we can receive the data from parent to child with the help of input decorator next we have is if we want to receive data from child to parent then what we need to do again you can see here even if we have to pass data from child component to parent component this time we need to use output decorator and again if you remember i told you whether we will define input property or output property both needs to be defined inside child component itself so this time again we will define output output type because you have to identify the scenario if data we have to pass from parent component to child we will use input decorator if we have to pass data from child to parent then we will use output decorator and again both input and output will be written on the child component itself none of them will be you know mentioned on the parent component this thing you have to add you know keep in mind so after this we can define one variable maybe we can say uh send data to parent okay and then again we can say of a, uh, not any but we can instantiate it with the event emitter type so we can say event emitter and then we will emit it so we have done this now what we will do we will create one text box so that whatever the value that we will receive in that text box in child component that value we will be passing to parent component for that on the child component we can create one input text box okay so here we can see a uh, input text type okay and here itself we will use one model also ng model equal to input data okay and then i will use button send data this is the button that we i n p u t input data is the variable inside which we will be receiving and on click of this we have to send so we will use the click event here so click equal to send data we will use now what will happen whatever the value that we will be receiving inside this text box we will send it with the help of this this method will be called and when this method will be called basically we will send this data so we will define this method in the child component so here all we need to do is we will define this and we are done now we also need to define the variable here also that we have uh, this variable uh, input data okay so this one will be defined we can define here 
may be of type any we can say okay because value anyway we will be receiving from text box so now when this method will be executing we can say this dot which variable we want to pass send data to parent so this variable we can copy of type event event emitter so there is one emit method so that will be emitting means whenever this method will be called it will emit the data which data needs to be emit which exact data we want to send the value present inside the input data which we will receive from text box so we can pass from here and then we need to use here with this this is the instance variable so this dot input data and all we need to do is we are done now we are passing this variable send data to parent so again we need to copy this and in the parent component itself where we are using the child selector we have to use that but this time we will be using inside the parenthesis while data is coming from child we will be using parenthesis and then equal to we can define the data maybe uh, receive data and inside here whatever the value that will be emitted from child component we will receive inside the event variable here so we need to write here dollar event then here we can define this method uh, this one and we can get here data we can see because we will have some value maybe of any type all we can do is suppose message is something that where we want to receive so we can simply say this dot message equal to data that's it so whatever we'll see what will happen whatever the value that is coming from the child that will be copied inside this data variable so that variable we are initializing to message so now message will have the same means message got initialized with the value that was coming from child component and now if we use this message variable in the parent component then we can get the data so here this is our parent component so we will just use the this interpretation we can say message and we can get the value so if we run this here we have so this is the message okay that we are already coming getting from parent to child let me you know correct this ui little bit so we can put both inside the div tag okay for better look I will uh, put little margin also a style <coughs> I will say margin maybe a uh, 4 pixel okay yep so this data we already saw we have already discussed like it is coming from parent to child okay now we have to pass the data so here we will write maybe welcome okay and when we click on this the data will be passed to parent component when we click here you see welcome is coming here which we are you know it means it represent we are successfully able to pass data from child component to parent component so how it will work what happens ki basically we have to identify the scenario here we have to pass data from child to parent so when we have to pass data from child to parent we will use output decorator so again whether it's input or output both needs to be defined inside the child component itself so we created one output variable and instantiated with event emitter so with the help of this variable we will be passing the data then we have defined means we gave some value inside this input box and then we clicked on this button send data when we clicked on this it executed this send data method present here and then this line executed means emit method will emit the value which value we are trying to emit exactly same value that we received from the text box so this value we have emitted and then here this line will be executing so this will check the name of the variable send data to parent okay so with this if you see the exactly same value we are emitting from child okay here okay so it will match and then 
this line will be evaluated so whatever the value that we are passing from there we will receive inside the dollar event so this method with the value that we are you know uh, passing from the child component will receive from here so that will be copied inside this data and then we are initializing that data to this message so finally this message variable present in the parent component ape component that has now the value which was sent from the child component and once they have this value we are you know displaying on the this one is on the parent component itself and this way we are able to pass data from child to parent component if also if you don't want to define the method then another approach is we can leave this okay no need to define here and simply save it in html directly we can write okay so here uh anyway whatever the data that we will receive that we will be that will be coming from child we will receive inside the dollar event so we can say simply masses equal to uh, here whatever we will receive inside this dollar event that we can write since this is the one line of course why to create unnecessary method and still it will be working exactly same masses will be initialized with value that was coming from child component and that will be rendered so let me run again uh, i will say child data and then we'll say send and you can see we are getting this value okay so this is how we will use input and output decorator to establish the interaction between two component okay if we have to pass the data from parent to a child then we will use input decorator if we have to pass the data from child component to parent then we will use output decorator this is the first scenario that you need to i you know remember another thing is whether you are defining input property or output property none of them you will be writing on the parent component both of them or any one of them as per your requirement you will be using or you will be defining them on child component itself that you can see i have done here okay so same way either you are creating input or output you know you either of them you will be defining on child component itself if you have to create the another type of variable another variable name then you will use this syntax inside this you will pass the exactly same name that you have used in the parent component and then later you can change the name of the variable so this variable now you can use anywhere because values you will receive in this variable only with the help of this identifier so this is how input and output decorator works in angular thank you for watching